Jeff Wolby, can't tell you that Jacksonville Sheriff's Office Violent Crimes Unit is still here in Durkeeville along Myrtle Avenue. But they say the good news is they're currently not looking for anybody in connection to today's earlier shooting around 1130. But I want to tell you why that's good news. Right here off in the distance through the fence, that is Stanton College Prep. If you take a few steps down here and you cross over 15th Street, that is Baptist Church. A concern, of course, for police, and they're asking for your help tonight. Yes, Lindsay, right now I'm standing actually to the back entrance of Arden's Express Cafe. So why am I here? Well, Keith Martin actually pulled up to this back entrance earlier this morning, but why? Well, it turns out Keith Martin was actually an employee here for about the last year and a half, such as failing to properly signal or change lanes. Then they have to go ahead and write you a ticket for texting and driving if they can prove that you were texting and driving. But under this new law, you simply look down, they can pull you over, they find you texting and driving, they can write you a ticket. Yes, Jeff, good evening. Hard to believe here that this right here is really the only damage, but that pilot miraculously walked away. You can see right here as I set my water bottle there, not very deep. You would not expect that's the hole that is left behind, but that is the impact left from this helicopter ca crash. Again, the only word really you can put to it is miraculous. Anyway, well, right now I can show you this is the first sign that has actually been put up here in this neighborhood. Just a short while ago today, that said 30 miles an hour, now 20 miles an hour. This is something that was a community effort. It wasn't something that happened overnight, and it's something this neighborhood hopes will encourage others to go out there and do the same to reduce speed limits in their neighborhood. Please tell us about 9 o'clock, a woman came in here to this Chase bank robbery and demanded money from a teller. Didn't give her a note, didn't show her a firearm, but at the time, she demanded money was wearing all black. She was wearing a black jacket with a black hood over, black pants, white shoes, something over her arm indicating she had a weapon but didn't flash any weapon. The teller gave her some money. She comes out of the Chase Bank robbery where I'm standing along Thacker Avenue and then police say she headed north on foot. Started heading down Thacker Avenue about a block or two down as Landon Middle School. That was put on code red. Well, Ginny, JA maintains 150,000 lights around their coverage area. Now, some of those are actually owned by FDOT but maintained by JEA. Once that confusion was figured out, JEA went to work this morning. 